try to open the engine. Six and a half hours later. All right, so it's a V6 engine with 300 horsepower, and that's how a V6 engine looks like. Just in case, if you were, um, that was nothing. Yeah, pretty solid engine, nicely done, and uh, kind of lost the cap for that. My bad. Again, produces 300 horsepower. That's not bad for a V6 for a Ford Mustang. Nicely done, Ford. Nicely done. All right, now I'm going to show you how much of space is there in the back, which is quite a lot. See, I mean, you can fit in anything you want, basically, like two full-size suitcases. Yeah, that's not bad. It's quite nice. As you can see, the car has its usual um, volume button and your cruise control, cruise control, cruise control. Also. To control your gauge so you can check your um, how much petrol you have in your car and it will give you a detail about you know voltage transmission oil temperature oil temperature oil pressure and all that all that lovely thing and also you can check your tire pressure as well and you can check your uh, trip fuel how much fuel you just consumed and track app which apparently people really like you can you know go in track mode and check your you know time your lap around Yas Island or around the circuit or anything whatever you like driver assistant like auto engine on and off like you can use your remote control to turn on and off your engine and that is the that is the settings yeah your vehicle and my key you know display setup regular things that you really find on other cars as well but it's quite nice to have it on a Mustang which is really nice thanks a lot Mustang and this is the American version, just to let you know all US specs. Alright, let's move on to the second phase of the car, the center console. Well, you've got your ignition switch, turning on and off, push the button. you got your panda there, you got your hazard lights, you got your traction, and then you got that mode, which is a, it's a steering mode. It lets you choose between sport, comfort, or normal. So you got three modes, and all right, so just gonna hit that button for you. As you can see, it goes sport, comfort, normal, sport. I'm gonna leave it on comfort because that's what I want to use for now. I'm not gonna speed around. And you got your climate control, which is nice, I guess. And the knobs are really nice as well. Knobs. <laughs> and you got your volume button tuner. You can somehow control your uh, options around here with that just like that you got your dial pad you can call people if you want like zero five or you can control the radio station with that radio media phone menu and all that which is quite nice i guess you got your uh sync settings sync apps audio settings clock display camera settings as well you can camera delay i guess i don't know why would you want that but yep, yeah. and you got these cool kind of looking AC vents, which are really nice. And that's the gear. Uh, that's the sports mode you want: drive, neutral, reverse, park. That's only for if you're gonna really want to, you know, let it rip. Fits regular size cups, and yeah, fits nice paperwork over there. Lovely, lovely, and great leather seats as well. Well, when you put your bum down there. It's kind of like squishes it in so as you're going to the like corners it quite, quite holds you and that's your um, lock and unlock and also um, the pattings on these are really nice it's quite soft same goes with this so you just got that stitching there see going on through the whole car also the steering wheel is quite nice which I really like it's, it's like firm it's got a nice grip to it is there a bug down there? Son of a bitch. No, it's not a bug. My bad. <laughs> yeah, and this is one thing that a lot of people really like. It says Mustang since 1964. On the 2018 versions of the Mustang, it just says Mustang. 
It's got lovely speakers, great sound, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, an all right review of this car. I mean, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that professional. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching my video.